Am I too low? I might be too low. Okay, hold on. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I am very tired, so I am cracking open a Dr. Pepper. I don't usually drink soda, but I am so tired right now. It's utterly ridiculous. I got it, okay. This is the start of me reading Christmas books for a week because it is December 11th today and it is a monday so i'm gonna go probably monday to monday so 11th to the 18th i'm gonna be reading christmas books for a week and we're gonna see how many we can get through i actually already did start in holidays by christina lauren so i had six christmas books to choose from and i chose three from a jar that i had and i did that in my november wrap up and my december tbr video and this is one of the books i drew out and honestly, I work a lot this week and I was worried about how many Christmas books I would be able to read. And while I do enjoy physically reading books, I did go ahead and start the Audible book for this book. And I have to say that I am enjoying it. It's nice to listen to the book while I'm working. So I actually did get a bit done with this book today. I got to page 177, which is chapter 18. And when I opened this book earlier, I was like, this font is so big because I've been reading, I last read Divine Rivals and Iron Flame and those books had such small fonts compared to this. I was like, whoa. If you don't know what this book is about, obviously it's called In Holidays by Christina Lauren, which is the author of Eleven Other Words, which is a book that everybody loved and raves about, and I really enjoyed it as well. This book obviously takes place around Christmas time, and this book is told in first person from a girl named May, and she's 26 years old. She always spends Christmas in a family friend's cabin up in Utah. Basically all her life she's been going to this cabin, and she is there with a bunch of family friends, and including the two brothers that are potentially love interests. She's very sad about a certain event that took place at um, the cabin this year and she was really down and upset and as she's leaving the cabin she's just asking the universe please show me what will make me happy and that's when suddenly um, as her family's driving down the road a truck with Christmas trees in the back hits their car, everything goes black, and Meg wakes up on the plane back to Utah, back to the cabin the same day, is repeating again. It is December 20th all over again. So that's basically what is going on. It's kind of like a Groundhog Day kind of situation. And I've gotten pretty far into this book. Like I said, I'm on page, uh, I'm on chapter 18. And um, so far, I, I do enjoy it. At first, I got a little bored because it took forever for the thing to happen. <laughs> I think May, the main character, she's pretty funny. I like her. I like her as a character. And I know right now it doesn't look very Christmassy, this video and what I'm wearing. It's not really, there's not really much the Christmas vibe. And it's because I unfortunately can't decorate this year because of my cat. He will destroy everything. And I'm really hoping that reading Christmas books for a week will get me into the holiday spirit. So. Anyway, I am going to actually take a break from reading, even though I haven't even read, technically. I'm going to take a break from reading Christmas books for right now, and I'm going to um, work on editing my Divine Rivals reading vlog. If you're watching this, it's probably already up. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, but um, the link will be in the description if I did finish it. Anyway, I'm not sure which one I'm going to read next. I have, a, I have two more options. I have Along Came Holly by Cody Hall, and I have um, One Day in December by Josie Silver. Is that her name? Have you guys read this book and did you like it? I am actually loving it so far. I think it's funny. Um, I wouldn't, it's not a five star read, but it is cute. It's a cute, it's a cute book and uh, I love the characters. I'm gonna get to editing and I will see you guys when I see ya, okay. <laughs> But I'm gonna go ahead and listen to In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I definitely think I'm gonna get this finished today. Like I said, so far I'm really enjoying it and I'm really curious to see what happens at the end. And obviously there's something that's supposed to break whatever time loop she's in and I don't really know what it is yet. I will tell you guys my thoughts and I will definitely keep you updated and if something crazy happens, I will record even though I am working and 
yeah so okay i look crazy <laughs> Hey, so today is Thursday and yeah, I haven't recorded for a while. Um, I had a clip on Tuesday where I talked about that I was going to listen to In Holidays by Christina Lauren and I actually did finish that book, um, the audiobook. So, and I was going to start Once Upon a December yesterday, um, but when I got home from work yesterday, my allergies were so bad, like my eyes were watering my sinuses were so were so swollen that i could not breathe through my nose at all it was awful i wanted to read so bad but like i knew that it was just gonna be so uncomfortable so i just i just went to bed honestly like i just fell asleep really early i fell asleep watching destiny sidwell so i'm going to go ahead and use another audible credit i'm gonna be so sad when all my audible credits are gone i'm going to listen to once upon it <laughs> I keep wanting to say once upon a December, but that's not what it is. I'm going to listen to one day in December and I don't think I'm going to finish it today. Um, I will give more of an in-depth review on In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, but I will say like it, there was some parts that I kind of was, there's like two things that I didn't really enjoy. Anyways, I'm gonna listen to One Day in December and then when I get home later tonight, I will be reading the physical copy and I will try to read the physical copies more this weekend. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Oh my god, my hair. This is what happens when I don't blow dry my hair. My hair goes like this. I am here to update you on the Christmas books that I have read. Well, not read, I mean audiobook. I've listened to the audiobook. I was gonna read a physical book yesterday, like I was going to start a physical book yesterday, which yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday, and I felt like absolute garbage yesterday. My allergies were so bad, I couldn't breathe through my nose. Before I get ahead of myself, let me just go ahead and update you. I started the audiobook of this, and I'm so glad I did, because... Um, the girl that narrates this book does a really good job of, like, portraying the emotions and stuff. Like, I really enjoy that and appreciated it. And I don't know where exactly I'm at in the book. I just spoiled myself. That's just great. But it's okay. I was expecting that. Okay. Yeah. I'm, like, halfway through the book. And, um... How do I write it? How about the, the... How would I even describe this book? I didn't realize, and I guess it says on the back, this book is 10 years of the characters. You go through 10 years in this little bit. He's playing in a box. And <sighs> the problem that I'm having with this book is that these two characters meet, kind, they kind of meet on a bus, but they don't really meet. It's literally this. She gets on a bus, right? And she sees this guy standing there waiting for the other bus. And they lock eyes and they instantly feel like they have this connection, right? But they don't, but then after that, they don't see each other ever again. And then you skip a year later. Her, the main girl is having a Christmas party with her friend, her roommate. And it turns out that her roommate has a boyfriend and it's this guy. I thought like at first, like I was gonna be like really intrigued by this book and it does sound intriguing, right? But the thing I don't like about it is like, I guess it's because I put in myself in the roommate's position. I would be so angry if my, my best friend is crushing on my boyfriend and it didn't tell me. Like that's the, that's the thing that I don't like about it. And they obviously have like this connection throughout the book so far and I wouldn't, I would hate to think that my boyfriend is like liking someone else. I don't know why he just has not broken up with her yet. And that's what's bothering me. Like if you like somebody and you're dating somebody, then it's like, why does he keep dating the roommate? Because they've been together for like a year now. So it's like, wh why? Why? And that's kind of what's bothering me about this book. Yeah, so it's like, it's like in a way, I'm like, I'm kind of disappointed. Like, like, it's still good, but it's like, I'm kind of disappointed that it's like that. 
I'm not going to read the physical copy of this. I'm just going to listen to the rest of the audiobook because I already used my credit for Audible. And I think tonight I'm going to go ahead and start on Along Came Holly by Cody Hall. This book I got in my Christmas, uh, my Christmas book shopping vlog. So I think tonight I'm going to start on this one. <coughs> whoa so i think tonight i'm going to start this book and i'm going to make sure i only read the physical copy because so far i feel like i've been cheating and just reading the audiobook reading the audiobooks or listening to the audiobooks just go ahead and start on along came holly by cody hall and then if, if you don't know what this book is about basically this book is about a girl named holly and she owns a holiday shop and right next door um there's a guy named declan and he owns this other shop next door and he doesn't really like all the holidays. And so he gets annoyed that she's so cheerful about Christmas. And she has him set up her holiday lights display. And then he is like loathing it though because he doesn't want to see all these excessive decorations. Yeah, they just end up falling in love. A girl that loves the holidays, a guy that doesn't love the holidays, they kiss once and they're like, oh, that's what this book is about. <laughs> like a YouTube channel where she dresses up as a as an elf and it's called Holly the Adventure Elf and she did that like seven years ago and now she's trying to retire it and I'm like I would too Holly I would too <laughs> It's been a few days. Um, okay, wait. I want to turn off the TV. Oh, at least mute it. My cat likes to um watch the TV while I'm not home. So far, like, I mean, I like it. Um, the, the beginning was kind of confusing because I wasn't sure if the book was just cheesy and then there was a perverted joke and I was like, wait, what is the... What is the vibe of this book? I don't really know. But something I definitely, like, recommend. Um, this book is, like... A little series like she has siblings so holly has siblings named nick and mary her book is third i was i kind of spoiled myself with nick and mary's books because it already kind of tells who's with who i guess kind of what they're up to and stuff and for me i didn't really like care but then i realized oh they have books so I would recommend not to read this right now if you don't want to get spoiled about Nick and Mary's books, but I'm not sure which one's first. I'm probably not going to read these two books because I already know what's... I kind of already know who they get with and stuff because of this book. But anyway, I'm still going to read this book. Yeah, for one day in December, I actually went back on my Goodreads and changed my rating from a 3 to a 2. Because the more I think about it, the more I don't like that book. But anyway, I'm going to prioritize finishing this book. And if I had more time, I would go ahead and start another Christmas book. But because it's already um, the 18th today, I'm only going to have time to finish one. So, but I mean, three books is fine, right? <laughs> Y'all thought I was making tea. Nah. No, I eat noodles. <laughs> this is my guilty pleasure right here. I know it's so bad for you, but oh my gosh. These hit the spot late at night. Probably not the best idea to crack one of these at 10 p.m., but it's happening. I'm so excited to get a Kindle because I don't want to hold a book. This character almost collided, like bumped into another character. And this guy goes, whoa, yield for oncoming traffic. <laughs> they tried. <laughs>
characters are in their late 20s. For some reason, I didn't assume that. I thought they were probably in their early 20s. It just seems like they're very... I don't know, kiddish? Does that make sense? It's weird. I'm so old. One thing I've learned, one thing I have realized being on booktube is I am one of the oldest ones. <laughs> So I've been sitting here watching a little bit of um, YouTube. I'm watching Loranda Reads. Congrats on 10K subscribers. They just got to 10K. That's awesome. Congrats to you guys. You probably aren't watching this, but if you are somehow, congratulations on 10K subscribers. So it is the next day, even though I'm wearing the same exact thing. This is just what I wear to bed because it's just so cold. It's been so cold lately. I actually, um, started listening to the audiobook of of Along Came Holly today and I got a lot done as you can see um I have like I have like 20 pages left I think maybe less I'm not really sure but like let me be honest <sighs> okay all I'm gonna say is this looks a lot cuter than it actually is I'm just gonna take some time to read the rest of this book then I'm going to get into the reviews of all the books at the end of this video <laughs> some things about this book that are just so odd to me. Oh my gosh. Dying. That is it. And the end. Well, I know I haven't had any um, Christmas decor throughout this entire video, but I am happy to say that I have acquired the Christmas Bucky. Um, he's the only th Christmas thing that I'm going to put out this year because my cat will not allow anything else. He's really helping me get into the holiday spirit because to be honest, these books kind of didn't. So, and I'm here to talk about what I thought and just my overall feelings and ratings and whatnot. So I've just been thinking about these books the past few days and a lot. I finished Along Came Holiday before yesterday and I'm kind of taking that time just to think about what I thought about the books. I'm acting like they were all utterly terrible and that's not true. They, some of them just weren't what I was expecting. It's, it's totally possible that I expected a lot more from these books than I like I don't know, because they are Christmas books. They're gonna be a little cheesy. They're gonna be like Hallmark movies, right? So the first Christmas book I read for this vlog was In the Holidays by Christina Lauren. And I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was very good. I love Christina Lauren's writing. Love in Other Words by them is a five star read for me. It was one of the first books that got me back into reading. I really did enjoy it. And my spoiler free review for it is I really liked it. I liked the characters. I liked the writing. Nothing felt really like really that cringe to me. I feel like everything was at a really good pace. Although I kind of expected her to go back a couple of a couple more times because um, it's not really a spoiler, but she only went back like a handful of times and I expected her to do that like more because I just expected her to, I know it's kind of annoying though to, it's very repetitive to do the same day over and over and over. But if that's the concept of the book, I expected her to do it more than just a handful of times. You know what I mean? And another thing, I'll try to be very vague about this so I don't spoil this for anybody. So the book makes it pretty obvious who she's gonna be with, like which brother she's gonna be with, right? But I kind of wish that the other brother was still an option in the reader's minds, if that makes sense. Like, I wish they made it seem like, oh, is it a possibility that the, char that the character May is going to get with the other brother? Or is she going to be with this brother? But the book made it, like, really obvious who it was going to be. So I kind of wish there was more, like, because you know in the summer I turn pretty, you're not really, like, sure for a while. And I kind of wish that book was like that in that aspect. I kind of wish it was less obvious, you know? But overall, this was a four star for me. I really did enjoy it and it was really good. I would recommend this to people because it's a cute, fast paced read. 
If you've never read a Christmas book before, I'd say this is a pretty good start because it gets you into the holiday spirit and it's a good read and it really just kind of keeps you hooked too. And I just remember like actually laughing at some stuff that happened and it was it was good. It was good and I really did enjoy it. So anyway, four stars for this one. And Bucky's gonna take care of these. Make sure nothing bad happens to them. <laughs> okay. And the next book I read was One Day in December by Josie Silver. Mm -mm. Guys, I didn't like this. <laughs> and I feel really bad because I think a lot of people will like it. But I, I literally, like, this book, like, it made me mad. If you haven't read this, it's about a girl named, uh, Lori. It's about a girl named Lori and she's on a bus, she's at a bus stop, she's on the bus and she sees this guy, um, this guy and they lock eyes and he basically, he's not on the bus, but like he's out, he's out of the bus or on another bus or something. I don't even remember at this point and they lock eyes and they feel this instant spark, this instant connection. And, um, there's like this moment where she's like, oh my gosh, he needs to get on the bus. Please get on the bus. Please get on the bus. Please get on the bus, man. And then he doesn't. And then basically at that point, she like goes and searches for this guy. And she like doesn't know his name. She doesn't know anything about him except what he looks like. And um, a year goes by and then her best friend is having a party and she introduces Lori to her boyfriend, which ends up being this guy. And her best friend does know that Lori has been looking for this bus boy for like a year. So that's like the main like conflict is that her best friend is dating a guy that she basically fell in love with because she like just saw him and they didn't they don't know anything about each other but she's just in love with him like love at first sight which is fine or whatever right but <laughs> this let me tell you why i didn't enjoy this book i didn't like it because it basically both characters were emotionally cheating in a way because you're you cannot be in a relationship with somebody and then just constantly think about being with this other person what it would be like there's emotional cheating there's cheating and i just don't like that and i don't i don't think that's sweet i don't think that's romantic i don't i if you are thinking about being with someone else while dating somebody engaged married to someone don't be in that relationship okay so i feel bad though maybe i'll give one of her other books uh, a try and i know a lot of people really liked it but i just don't like it and it was reese weatherspoon's book club book or something i'm sorry reese weatherspoon I just didn't like this. And the last book I read this week was Along Came Holly by Cody Hall. Something I will say first about this book, there are two books before this. Nick and Noel's Christmas Playlist and There's Something About Mary. These are before this book and I recommend reading these books before this book because in this book you kind of get a spoiler of what happens in these two books. And I didn't really realize that so when I was reading it I was like, oh, it's telling me who they got married to and like who they like it just giving it's giving me spoilers about the other character overall i mean this wasn't a bad book i gave it a three stars overall but i didn't enjoy it as much as in holidays this book was pretty cringy a lot of the time there's spice in this book and i didn't really expect it there's actually spice in all three of these books but i would say this one's the most descriptive this is basically about a girl named uh holly winters and she owns this Christmas store. And then right next door to her is a guy named Declan. And he owns like a hardware store in town. And they're enemies because he doesn't really like the holidays. And Holly loves the holidays. And she always wants to decorate and plays Christmas music really loud. And he's like, oh my god, shut up. I can hear it in my store. Please shut that up. You're annoying. So that's kind of why they don't like each other. So it's not like full on enemies. But it's just like they just, they just don't like each other basically. So he gets wrapped up into working for her and he really needs the extra money because she needs help putting up her Christmas display for this competition they do every year in their town or something with their Christmas displays and uh, basically at that point their relationship kind of starts to develop and it starts out as like like without getting too much into it it's a lot of like it's a lot of lust instead of actually getting to know each other and i like as much as i love spice and books and all that stuff really i, I kind of wish they got to know each other more and in a book like this like with the way it looks i didn't expect it to be like that 
I'm not saying it's like crazy. Like it wasn't as bad as like Iron Flame, for example. But like, I don't know. I, I mean, I still enjoyed it and I would recommend it, but it just wasn't as enjoyable as in the holidays. The writing was okay. Some things were cringy and I was like, grown people don't talk like this. Like, cause I'm 26 years old and Holly is 26 years old. And I'm like, as cringy as I am though, I don't know if I would talk like that. I don't know, maybe I don't know anything. Cause I barely know how to have a conversation. The cat is so cute. His name is Leo and he's like a big fat orange cat. And I, and I loved him. I mean, it was fine. I just, it was just okay. So just to recap, Along Came Holly was a three stars for me. One Day in December was a two star for me. And In Holidays by Christina Lauren was a four star for me. So anyway, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it overall. Although it wasn't like the best uh, vlog I could have made for you guys for Christmas because it just wasn't as good because I'm moving soon and things are just a little complicated around here with the decorations and my cat wanting to destroy everything. Things weren't just like the vibe as much as I wanted them to be. But overall, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my first ever uh, Christmas reading vlog and I hope you guys have a great holiday. So that is it and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, oh, da, 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 Christmas memories